good morning to everyone. I apologize for not being present today. I'm Lucrezia Martelli, a Z fellow at the Department of Structural, the Technical and Building Engineering in Politecnico di Torino. This research focuses on the performances of a couple system under seismic actions when a fitness silicoskeleton structure is applied to a real construction. The rich variety of styles and designated uses of the Italian building heritage makes it stand out, but they share a common aspect, they are generally outdated. In fact, it has been proved that almost 61% of them has already exceeded the designated lifespan of 50 years, and more than half of them was built without considering seismic design principle nor energy conception. The outcome is significant because the prevalence of buildings lacking an adequate seismic design and energetic monitoring is evident. So, safety assessment and structural vulnerability have finally taken a leading role. As reported in the document for AWB European Initiative, more than a third of total greenhouse gas emissions derive from them. Thus, innovative ideas and advanced technological solutions should lie the way to take safer and more sustainable measures that must be applied above all to existing buildings. Our study aims at investigating how a silicoskeleton can succeed in controlling earthquake induced vibrations of an existing reinforced concrete building, in this case a residential construction. The solution is a self-supporting structural system placed in the exterior part of an existing construction which is rigidly connected to. The link also represents the way the inner building can unload itself, giving the stresses to the steel frame. The external structures allow to reduce business downtime and to avoid residence replication thanks to the operative processes that are completed from the outside. They can also enhance economic and environmental effectiveness of the resulting system by updating the structure to the current sustainable needs. Moreover, they restore the designated lifetime, bringing also a new third shape and additional housing or public spaces can be provided as well. The exoskeleton is added to bear seismic loads aiming at protecting the existing frame structure and preventing its damage during earthquake actions. The primary structure is a flat complex situated in the southwest area of Turin in Italy. It is an isolated reinforced concrete building made up of nine stories over the basement. Interstory heights are equal to 3.27 meters, except for the lowest pillar tier level that reaches almost 5 meters. Floor plans are characterized by a quite regular shape, whose dimension along the X direction is approximately twice as it is along the transverse one. Construction works started in 1957 and finished two years later, so more than 50 years have passed. Starting with the original construction, whose first level structural plan is shown on the lower right, a finite element model has been designed using the structural analysis software Robert Autodesk. From now on, the capital letter U stands for uncontrolled structure to distinguish it from the C of the final couple system. Seismic adjustment has been carried on by the introduction of a self-supporting steel exoskeleton, which stands next to the existing construction but lying on its own rigid foundations. It rises from the planking level to the top on the entire facet, and the structural elements it is made of are pillars, beams, and diagonals. The introduction of the exoskeleton has enabled to make a more regular floor plan, which consists of the primary slab and the new external part linked one to each other by a rigid connection. Amongst the results of the linear dynamic analysis, the comparison between model properties of the primary construction and those of the couple system revealed higher frequencies because of the increase in stiffness due to the exoskeleton. Just focusing on the main three modes, the fourth one goes through a rise of 34% in frequency and the third one becomes three times higher. Period rapidly reduces from the original building to the couple system due to a structural stiffening. Thanks to the regularization given by the exoskeleton, the second mode of vibration becomes translational, giving to the third one torsional effects. Then, elastic pseudo acceleration response spectra have been analyzed for both original structure and control system for damage and life safety limit states. The symbols on the curves represent the 10 modes of vibration, 
whose values have been shown in the previous slide. You will immediately notice that the control system is characterized by lower periods and higher accelerations. In fact, the reference points move to the left, reaching the plateau. As a way to compare the results, the diagram on the right indicates the first three modes of both structures for life safety limit state. Even if it doesn't appear so marked, the couple system reveals a clear increase in acceleration as a proof of safeness growth due to the steel structure, as you can see in the table. Talking about damage limit state, displacements decrease especially along X direction and interstory drift pressures are fully lower than the limit established by the standards, so verification has been validated. These values can be found in the table at which the two diagrams of interstory drift pressures have been drawn. Dealing now with life safety limit state, Floor displacements are clearly higher, but they never still overcome a few centimeters. Along X direction, the retrofitted structure achieves a huge reduction in displacements at the top, from 62 mm to 32 mm, thus it is equal to minus 38.10%. In Y direction, positive effects of the external solution exist, even if they are less significant. Concerning trends are illustrated. For the same limit state as before, the lower floor of the couple system undergoes the greatest shear forces, whose values are indicated in the table. It happens because of the rising mass, frequency, and stiffness. Nevertheless, the connections allow the exoskeleton to bear the additional forces, reducing those that act just on the primary structure and protecting it. The effectiveness of the proposed method is also visible at the top level where center of gravity and center of stiffness of the retrofitted system remain close. The last analysis only concerns the steel that stands from the first to the ninth level in order to find the cost of the intervention per square meter. Estimating a steel price equal to 4 euros per kilo that includes materials and insulation, total cost can be derived. Then, gross area for each floor has been taken into account and multiplying it for the number of the levels, the entire gross surface is obtained. Finally, total cost is divided by the overall square meters and it is easy to understand if the solution turns out to be cost effective. Yes, it is an excellent result. 185 euros per square meter is definitely less than the estimated cost for a traditional adjustment of an existing building. In conclusion, outcomes between the original structure and the retrofitted system are as follows. A reduction in floor displacements for both limit states. A growth of frequencies because of an increase in mass and stiffness. A more efficient behavior occurs along the X direction because it is stiffer than the transit one. Then, cost of operations is incredibly lower than the price required for a standard adjustment. And preservation of the existing building that avoids both demolition and heavy reconstruction works, thanks to external operation. The overall dimensions of this solution are nearly limited to the perimeter of the primary construction. Given that it just needs one meter and a half to incorporate the balconies and pull the exoskeleton foundations beyond the existing ones. Thus, it represents a useful answer to isolated urban structures that are no longer in compliance with the current standards. As a result, the exoskeleton structure can cope with the problem of seismic adjustment of existing constructions even giving them the chance to gain new energetic and aesthetic features. Thank you for listening.